Good Friday afternoon, Paul and Drigo here, Toronto Real Estate Unfiltered. So today I'm doing the Friday Top 5 Review. So the best way to do this um, uh, interactive podcast, which is what I'm hoping to accomplish here, uh, is to have you guys uh, head right over to mysoldreport.com backslash Friday Top and then number 5. And you can review the top five souls in the area with me uh, in the Toronto area, Toronto GTA, uh, uh, with me, and just sort of have an idea of what's going on in different segments of the market uh, across the city. Because at any given time, which is why I do uh, these reviews on a weekly basis, at any given time, there's usually a little bit of heat in some part of the city, whether it be the east end, the west end, sometimes all the heat is north, um, and then sometimes it's on the outskirts of the, uh, like the GTA, Oakville, um, Oshawa, Whitby. It really all depends on uh, where people are looking and where the values are. So when you look um, at the Friday Top 5 this week, you'll see quite a lot of activity in the West End of Toronto. So what happens when you see this kind of activity, uh, it should help you decide or should help you have an idea um, how, how perhaps how hot your property might be. If you are in the West End, um, you definitely want to pay extra attention today. Uh, when uh, when you head over to uh, check out the report, you do need to sign in to gain access. Uh, once you do, that's it. Just a one-time sign in, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, and then on, uh, sorry, offline, sort of with with me directly, uh, we can definitely go back and forth and discuss uh, how those properties you see compare to yours. And usually, the best way to do it is. Uh, um, which is what I do a couple times a week, is stop by your place, uh, have a coffee with you, have a beer, uh, get a tour, which for me is a highlight. It's always, um, it's always been that way, where for me the highlight of um, you know, the process is A, the relationships that I create, so actually meeting you, uh, getting to know, you know everything about you, know, you, why you, know, you like the area, uh, any stories you want to share with me about the property, um, and, and notice that I'm not saying this has anything to do with you selling. This could just be you being curious about your value and wanting to know where you stand. Because for a lot of people, um, their home values, it, you know, it, it isn't just about, you know, obviously the, the, the selling process. It has a lot to do with your security. For a lot of you, you're living in your retirement fund. Uh, and some of you are very wisely re in, reinvesting some of the money that you've built up. So some of you have made the smart, uh, um, you know, you've been very smart over the last few years. You've been paying down your mortgage. So you might be sitting on five, six, seven, eight hundred, a million dollars of equity, uh, and it's not doing anything for you. So that's, uh, that's been the story of several of my clients this year where they didn't actually decide to sell. What they really just wanted to do was to maximize the equity they have in their property uh, and reinvest it somewhere else. In one case, I had a client who uh, was able to purchase a property, which uh, um, it's, it's fair to say will probably set them all up for life in the sense that um, this particular property will provide, even right now, an income level that, Far surpasses the the costs of uh, um, of the of the the mortgage costs that they have, which isn't isn't a significant one, but it's a it's a really great move forward, and I'm really proud of these particular clients because they're uh, again they're planning for the future, and the one thing that you cannot do, um, and so there's some of you that know what I mean by this, the, so the one thing you cannot do is count on the government or uh, some other sort of, you know, cross your fingers and hope situation, especially with the um, with the recent five-year report that I've just sent all my clients uh, that's come out um, uh, as well to give you an idea of where things are going and where prices are going. Uh, over the next five or ten years, uh, even at modest gains, uh, you're looking at average prices, I believe, in the 1.3 to 1.5 in the next five years. 
uh, and between 1.72, maybe 2 million in the next 10. Uh, there are some estimates as high as 2.8 million uh, in some areas. Now, that might be the case, but uh, I think in general, for the most part, you're looking at probably um, a difference of between, you know, uh, almost a million now to about 1.3 uh, in the next five years. I think that's a modest gain. So hopefully if you're smart enough to get to get together with me and connect, we can, uh, again, make sure that you also make the smart move. So um, another really great way to connect with me, especially this week, is at my grand opening. I've got a great new listing doing a grand opening, ice cream cart event, the whole thing. Uh, this Saturday only, 2 to 5 p.m., make sure that you're there early. I've had some people lining up uh, an hour before sometimes to get into my events. Uh, I do things a little differently. So everyone that comes through, um, you basically have to, uh, again, just line up and uh, wait uh, uh, wait for your turn for your group to go through. So usually I do it in groups of two, five, uh, even ten, depending on how many people are in line. Uh, you'll go through the tour with me, and on the way out, I'll treat you to an ice cream at, 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 via my ice cream cart. So it's a really great uh, way to get to know each other. Uh, and to maximize your time and give you the best tour I can of the property. Uh, and you're welcome to go through with your agent uh, any other time that you wish, but uh, you will need the show ID. Uh, and if you are working with a realtor, please let me know before, um, you know, showing up for the property tour. That's that's really key. Um, honesty up front is fine. I mean, it is, is, is so preferred. I don't, uh, I don't want anybody um, under any sort of uh, false pretenses, meaning that if uh, – uh, you know, if you're one of the people that would uh, ever meet with me at a property uh, and, and tell me that you're not working with a realtor and then all of a sudden I find out two hours later that you are, um, your credibility goes down the tubes when it comes time for me to review offers, meaning that if you lie to me about that, what else are you lying about? So best rule of thumb for me uh, in life and in business is don't ever lie to me. I don't even care about, like, you know, you don't have to tell me your whole name. But don't even lie to me about your name. When you show up at my at my at my events, it's uh, you do have to show ID to get in. Everybody does. Um, for me, that's a a safety principle that I put into place, not just for me, but for everyone, including any of the uh, people over the years in my business who have had to deal with uh, uh, you know un unscrupulous people coming through. So I want the standard to be high. So whether it's a, a myself or a female um, or an elderly person, um, you know, doing their you know their events, I want I want people to know that um, security means a lot, and uh, no one's getting into my events without uh, producing some sort of ID. Uh, I've turned away a lot of people who didn't want to, and uh, I, I really don't have time to uh, you know to to uh, babysit anybody uh, on that matter. So. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's, the again, my last uh, summer event, I think. I might possibly do one more. Um, all depends on demand and uh, what, uh, what amazing properties I might have next. So stay tuned. But check out the Friday Top 5 and uh, have yourselves a great weekend.